Hey guys, and on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone iPad. So right now, if you go right into your settings, you're going to see an update coming up. Some of you. Others, you might not. So first of all, before you do anything, you're going to see the first option up here where it says your name or your device's name and just make the backup there using your iCloud. If you have no iCloud space, then go ahead and hook it up to your computer and just create a backup there. So whether that's PC, you're going to use iTunes, and on a Mac, you guys can just use Finder. And I would also like to say if you have any issues, also use your Mac or PC in order to create the backup and update your device. But anyways, assuming you've done that already, just go down into general. Under general, your second option will say software update. And then from here, just let it load. If nothing pops up for you, just go into automatic updates, turn it off and on. And there you go. It's going to refresh your phone. You should see this right now. Some of you might only see install, for example because in your settings, you might have it so it downloads, but it doesn't install the updates, which is something I recommend doing, just having it download maybe, but not install the updates at all, because you do want to make sure that the update's fine before you do anything. So right now we're just gonna tap on download install, then go ahead and put in your passcode. Once you put in your passcode, it's gonna start downloading. After the download's done, it's gonna install it right here on your iPhone or iPad. It's gonna be the exact same thing whether you have an iPhone or iPad once again. And how long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed and when you're doing the update. Usually when the updates come out right away, then they take longer. But if you're here maybe a day later, you're gonna be okay. It's not gonna take forever and it does depend on your internet speed plus your device's speed as well, but that's only if you have an older device. Obviously, really old devices cannot be updated to the latest iOS. But anyways, right now it's just a waiting game, so we just have to wait for the next step. So if you just left your iPhone or iPad 2B, it's just gonna restart by itself. You guys will see a Apple logo and a loading bar. After that, you're all done. It's gonna say your software is all up to date. Scroll up, put in your passcode and that's it, you're in. You can double check by going to settings, go right into general software update and then you should see that you're all up to date. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like, thank you.